my name is Thomas Petru, and I started the Hype House. I got really into cars once I started to make money. <laughs> and then I, I have a YouTube channel and TikTok channel called Hype Cars. Funny enough, when I was a kid, I actually really liked American cars, and like all I ever wanted was a Corvette or a Camaro or something like that, because I didn't really get too into them. And then I really fell in love with like, the technological advancements of cars. So I thought, because I never could afford to have a nice car or anything like that. I had a Mazda 3 in high school, and I started working on it. I wrapped it, I switched the grill, I tuned it. I just like tried to tweak it so that I liked it, but I wasn't like crazy into cars yet. And then when I bought a Tesla Model 3, that was like my dream car. And that's like not a car guy car, but I bought one and I shortly after hated it. And that's when I went down the rabbit hole of getting into cars. <laughs> It was a very unique experience. It was weird having cameras like in the house watching you all the time, but it was surreal to like turn on Netflix and see myself and see like something that I've worked really hard towards be on there. And that was just kind of like a stepping stone for influencers overall. I have a list of all the cars I want, uh, but a couple of them like short term cars that I want are R33 GTR V spec, E92 M3, F8 Tributo with a 1016 body kit on it, uh, an Aventador SV in baby pink, a couple more. RWB Porsche, all time dream car right now. That's what I want, like next up. <laughs> I found the wrap through Blake Chase, uh, and he showed me a couple of the colors, and the first ever car that I got and bought myself and wrapped and everything was the Model 3. And I did the chalk gray, because I really wanted like an Nardo gray style. And he was like, a Nazitech makes like the shiniest, best wraps. So I was like, okay, let's try it. And then I did chalk gray first, and then that. Hype Cars is just where I showcase my car collection and honestly the page was made to inspire younger guys because I have a large female fan base on all my other channels and I wanted to selectively focus on guys and I've just always wanted to show that it's possible to do whatever you want to do. Like that was the first tattoo I got was do what you love, love what you do. And it was just like, I was a kid who grew up very broke. I had nothing. I moved to LA at 17, dropped out of college. I went to NYU and then dropped out and moved straight to LA. And it took me five years to like of grinding day in and day out, working a full-time day job, plus doing social media, just to scratch the surface of success. And then it took a year for everything for my whole life to change. So it's like being able to showcase that story through cars, it's awesome. Cause so many people, like when I see them in public, they're like, dude, how did you afford these? And it's like seven years of really hard work, but it like it paid off like that. And it's like, if you really want to be a musician, you really want to be this, like, it's not really just like, oh, you get lucky. It's like, no, it took me six years and luck. <laughs> I just wanted to showcase that through cars. And so I love inspiring people, especially the younger generation of guys out there. Got fully inspired by Casey Neistat when I was 16. That was the whole reason I picked up a camera in the first place. So I started doing like little After Effects videos and stuff like that with my cousin when I was like 13. So I always loved it. And then Vine, I started and just made, got a little bit of attention on Vine when we were, it was just me and my cousins and we were messing around. And then I saw Casey Neistat reach success on YouTube. And I was like, if he can do it, why can't I? And that was literally all I said. I was literally just a fan at home and started doing it. And it took five years, but I daily vlogged from no one really knows this, but I daily vlogged from 2016 to 2019, 1400 days, and nothing happened. Didn't reach any success through it, but it, I met Jake Paul through it, who gave me a lot of advice, who I watched and build Team 10, inspired me to do Hype House, like all that type of stuff. So it's like all goes full circle. Consistency is key. Find a schedule that works for you that you can balance with your normal life along with your content creation and do something original. Like do something that no one's doing, do something better than other people if you are. Don't fall into the trap of copying people's content. That is immediately how you fail. And I've seen so many kids out there who will just wanna do what someone else did because they think that'll work and it never works. You have to be original. And it's hard these days because everything's been done, but that's why you have to think outside of the box. Stay tuned for the Eurus wrap. <laughs> yeah, just hype cars.